This is the PKF Texas Entrepreneur's Playbook. I'm Jen Lemansky and I'm back again with Danielle Septis Chief, one of our directors as well as one of our certified fraud examiners. Danielle, welcome back to the Playbook. Good to see you again, Jen. So as a CFE, I know you work with attorneys yes. on the fraud investigations. Now attorneys have attorney-client privilege. Yes. Does that extend to your work with their clients? In certain circumstances, it can. Um, CPAs traditionally just as rank and file CPAs, we have confidentiality with our clients, which means I can't go you know, blabbing your business um, out and about anywhere I want to. But I can be compelled to testify okay. with a judge signed court order, um, in, in short. Sure. We'll, we'll keep this simple. Yeah. Um, the difference is privilege is a higher level. Okay. Um, attorney client privilege that's not an attorney CPA client privilege, but there are certain circumstances where that attorney client privilege can pass down to the CPA if the, the attorney manages the engagement correctly, okay. and puts proper procedures in place. And what the benefit of that really is, is if you're doing a corporate investigation and you don't necessarily know what you don't know yet, sure. and you know you have potential brand risk on the line, right. a lot of times you'll want those investigations under privilege until you determine what to do or what the results of those, of those investigations. Mm -hmm. So many times we'll be asked to work under privilege, okay. um, the, running through the attorney. Um, clients can waive the privilege if they want to. We've had ones where um, entities want to self-report okay. um, a particular situation. Uh, you know, disclosing to auditors actually does uh, create disclosure to the third party, which then can um, create privilege problems. And so working with the attorney to make sure we understand mm -hmm. what is the scope, how the privilege is working. There's also some tax controversy. If you have some tax okay. concerns, um, it's called COVAL, uh, where that mm -hmm. privilege does move down as well. Um, it's a best practice to try to put the engagements in the type of engagement that they should be in mm -hmm. for protecting the client. This is really a client protection matter because you want to trust your CPA and right. be able to actually disclose information to your CPA that Speak they can freely help you with. give you get yeah. all the information you yeah. need to help them out. Exactly. And I, I once had a client ask me uh, when this was just a regular confidentiality mm -hmm. matter. They said, "Well, does that mean you're going to sing like a canary?" And I go, "Well, <laughs> that means I'm going to have to tell the truth if I'm asked the truth or right. to ask them." Yeah. Hey, we can't claim uh, the Fifth Amendment because it's not self-incriminating. So making sure you bring in that attorney to manage that is, is really important. Perfect. Sounds good. We'll get you back to talk some more fraud. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Always. For more about this topic, visit pkftexas.com. This has been another Thought Leader production brought to you by PKF Texas, the Entrepreneur's Playbook. Tune in next week for another chapter.